I'm Jasmine. My husband Gozier and I are expats who have lived in Morocco, India, and now Ecuador with our busy toddler. I can't wait to inspire you to travel more, try new cuisines, and become empowered through your motherhood journey. And today, I share life as a mom, entrepreneur, and foreigner living in Ecuador on a rainy day with some challenges. Good morning from an early morning here in Quito. I'm still in my pajamas. My hair is <laughs> set for the day. I'm going to take it out very soon so I can look my best, my absolute finest you know what i'm saying working right now i'm gonna go get the baby in about five minutes we're gonna get started with our day make breakfast all of that stuff and then we have school he's got his activities here which i need to put some more together and um yeah my husband is home today too <laughs> because he's two and doesn't understand what I'm saying. It's because I'm trying to work on my patience in general. So anyways, we're gonna have eggs for breakfast this morning. Gotta get this little toddler head together as well. It's crazy. But we're gonna work on it. We have the whole day. And uh, yeah, is it open? Great job. Great job, crack, crack. Okay. Yeah. 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 You already have some in your egg already. You already have some. This is my plate. We are splitting an orange, but it looks like the orange has exploded and turned into a lot of orange slices. But anyways, orange. And then I've got two eggs with two tortillas. He's got wow. his one egg with one tortilla. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. gonna be good. Just cleaned up in this little space we have here, vacuumed, hence the baby pretending to vacuum. Uh, got the table clean, switched out my flowers. I had some roses here and they're doing dying. It's been like a month almost almost three weeks to a month so it served me well uh, now i'm just gonna go get myself ready finish getting myself ready and then we're gonna start on some activities because he needs some things to do i wrote an ebook like a mini ebook slash workbook yesterday all in a day with a toddler. I did it during um, nap times. I did wake up a little early. I woke up at six o'clock and worked. I'm definitely a lot more productive if I can do a little bit of work first thing in the morning. And so that was really helpful. And yeah, finish the workbook. Um, I will let you all know when it drops it's all about planning family trips so you have like a family um, vacation wish list basically you've got um, itinerary pages you've got um, just a lot of different things I'm gonna put more information down in the description box below so that when it drops you are um, you know you can get it and I'll also probably make separate YouTube videos all about it too so that I give you proper information I just can't think sometimes a mama is brain fried by 9 30 it's only 9 30. um but let me go get my earrings i'll be right back do this regardless when i'm staying home because i like to be put together i just still make content during the day if that is just like short form content or full on youtube videos so i like to put myself together sometimes i'll wear makeup but i think today Feeling like I'm gonna go without, so that's nice. I don't feel like I need it today. So we have some activities. This one is putting apples in a tree using our stickers. We have this activity here that he really likes, which is like the emotion match game. So he really likes that. We just did that one, and then I just made a caterpillar match activity. 
and we've got the numbers that he can place. But we're not doing that one yet. We're gonna finish putting apples in the tree. You do not touch scissors. We're gonna get you some little scissors. That's what we're gonna look for at the craft store today. See if they have some Gideon size scissors. Okay, so apples. All right, so we have our stickers here and he's just putting them in the tree. Do you yeah. like apples? Do you like eating apples? <gasps> and ah, oh, A says ah. Apple, can you say apple? Abba. Good job, apple. Abdi. Alligator, apple, A says ah. What about one of these? One, maybe that one looks the same? Great job! Number four. Four. Which one looks like four? Great job! Wow, look Show you this baby's hair. Look at how cute it came out. Yeah, your hair is cute basically i just took what he had and made them smaller sections and added some product to it so yeah that's the final look just finished our lunch and it was very loud so I did not talk <laughs> we just ate I almost forgot to film what we ate as well but it was, it was decent this baby right here is just enamored by all the lights and everything that he's seeing so it's cute we rarely come to the mall on our way home and it's a good time to go home traffic lights are out in certain places and it just feels a little chaotic it's like 3 20 so I think rush hour is probably starting because people are acting like it's rush hour so it's a good time to go home it's raining I think it rained a lot while we were in the mall because it's really wet so that is adding to the chaos, so it's just time to go home. <laughs> um, but it was a really nice outing. I'm really happy that we got to get out. Yeah, it's super slick on the road too. Any of your sleep? No, it's not asleep. Okay. Our baby did not take a nap, so yeah. We just arrived back home and our power and our power is on because we have a generator but the power throughout the neighborhood and I think parts of the city is out. I mentioned that in my previous clip. It's interesting, people um, in our WhatsApp, WhatsApp chats are talking about the lack of power that they have. <laughs> what is he doing? Talking about the lack of power that they have, but yeah, this happens. Okay, we're back, back in the house. Fresh memory card and everything. It is absolutely gorgeous today. You can see me, but you can definitely see Quito. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're very lucky that we have a generator, um, but we deal with power outages, I would say pretty frequently, um, or at least we used to deal with them pretty frequently, especially at the end of last year and then the beginning of this year. And so um, I do know that there are scheduled power outages again that I read about. I wonder if that's what this is or if it's just weather related, but luckily we are okay. We have our generator and we have power. So business as usual, 
I smell a poo poo diaper, so I'm gonna go and change. Change. Okay. Okay. Hair is up. I'm about to cook dinner. And, um, yeah, power's still out. Um, we got some reports saying that, yeah, about a thousand interse intersections in Quito um, that are down. So, power is like a big thing right now like the power outage i really thought it only affected maybe our building and a couple people in the neighborhood and the light that we you know went through when we were driving but it is a big thing so what i'm doing now is cooking i'm gonna take advantage of the generator being on and i'm gonna make a few things so that we're set just in case i don't know just in case the generator decides to go out too so um I'm gonna get that going and um, show you what I'm gonna make. I've gotta do more dishes, but we have a budding chef on our hands. Giddy, can you take that out or figure out what we're doing? This causes us to do more dishes, truthfully, but he's having fun. We should probably get him like some play dishes or play kitchen, I don't know. But this is my life, this is my life. Power is back on for everyone. Um, we don't have our generator on anymore and the reports are, are good. I have no idea what what this is and where, where I got this from. Have I had this all day? I don't think so. Uh, but I am exhausted. And I have not been exhausted in a, a couple of days. Uh, but editing really does make me tired. Um, I love editing, but just looking at a screen for an extended amount of time does that to me and then we went out and then you know mom stuff life stuff you know just makes you tired but i say all that to say i have not got my workout in and yes i cooked dinner and also made cookies and did all of that stuff if i were to dive right into dinner and dessert um by the way those are my three ingredient technically like four to five depending on how I make them peanut butter cookies that are gluten-free and just a lot better for you because I'm still like on a health journey um, but anyways if I were to dive into all of that I would fall asleep and just like veg for the rest of the night so I'm gonna get through my workout and I'm going to do an intentionally good workout today so that I can be proud of myself and um Let's get it going. Let's let's get dressed. Put ourselves in the mind frame to continue getting healthy and not fall off because I'm tired. So I'm gonna get dressed. It's better than the background. I'm doing Star Wars. And I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'll show you what I put on my plate, but and then for the day.